Okay, well, this isn't awkward at all. Good morning, Abby. It's Tuesday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Those are supposed to be uh, maracas that I don't have. And we've been tagged to do the naked vlogging challenge. Yay! comes in five parts. Part one, we planted some lavender today. Oh, there's a lead. Ah, yes, the roots, awesome. <laughs> Abby, I wish I had smell-o-vision because this lavender smells quite delicious. Check out the caterpillar. He's going and hiding under a rock. Ah. I have no idea what those things are, but they were under the flower too. They look like spiders or something. Not cool. Caterpillar's almost gone now. There's like a piece of fabric there. Yeah, there is. It's supposed to keep the weeds out. <laughs> Lavender plant. Part two, I don't know if I told you this, but I may have broken my nose a couple of weeks ago. I got in a fight with this like big sumo wrestler in a back alley, and okay, I was totally lying. I was playing baseball with a six-year-old, and she accidentally threw it too high, and gravity did the rest. It came down right on the bridge of my nose, and um, it was really bad. But anyway, um, I think I may have broken it, but I also think it's healing, because now it doesn't move when I hit it, <laughs> so that's good. Also, it, it uh, feels a little better. It's not hurting quite as bad as it did. I was like popping ibuprofen every five seconds <laughs> so like the doctor house of ibuprofen <laughs> so um so it's getting better now so that's good i considered going to the doctor but i was like you know what are they going to do for a broken nose like they can't really do anything to it other than like you know fiddle with it to make sure it's broken and i don't really want to do that i mean they can't put a cast on it so part three happy birthday alex part four has been mysteriously kidnapped and there was no note part five so I was talking to someone the other day and something occurred to me and I wanted to share it with you because I thought it was interesting. I was chatting with a friend and the conversation turned to the meaning of life and other airy light subjects. And we started discussing the search for truth and whether or not human beings have a sort of calling or duty to do so if we are to become responsible, enlightened people. The person I was discussing this with asserted that they think truth is relative because everybody sort of perceives truth in a different way and they're all basically correct because that works for them. I argued that I didn't think the truth is relative and while I was talking something occurred to me and that is that if truth is really relative, like if that's the way things really work, then there's really no truth at all. If you think about it, yes, everyone does perceive things differently, but in my opinion, that makes the search for actual truth that much more real and important. If I just believe everything everyone says to be true, or if I just, like, pick and choose the things that I want, what is that? That's not truth at all. It's just a pretty lie. And I don't want to live my life based on lies. So therefore, I seek truth. And I think it's about the noblest thing that any person can do while we wander through the labyrinth of the human condition. Just keep seeking, keep going, keep searching, and eventually the truth will come out. And hopefully we'll have some fun along the journey. So that's something to chew on. Abby, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully naked. <laughs>